Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So today there's actually... I guess this is still the same thing, like literally... <laughs> there probably isn't going to be anything different until the patch actually drops. I'm still going to be farming B8 for the entire day today because I need to farm as much as possible. Like you should definitely do that too before... Like if you're around that, that place or if you're able to farm B10 but like barely, farm the shit out of B10. Like actually if it's still, if it's stable for you like right now, it might not be stable after the patch change. So definitely farm the shit out of everything you can right now. Um, PV is going to get a lot harder. I think I've said that in like multiple videos over and over again. PV is definitely going to get a lot harder. Um, so farm everything you can and I'm thinking of a next big goal for myself and that is to raise this monster I think I, I really like her like I just really like the uh, the dark Victoria ever since I saw her skill set I was like holy shit I want this monster and w when they made her a fusion I was super happy when I summoned her yesterday I was I was just you know I uh, I had to change my pants after that but anyways I think Dark monsters are so good. Like dark monsters are the best. Uh, dark monsters having that extra crit, crit damage is so good. Uh, resistance al isn't always useful, but like like crit damage for almost all monsters. Like unless you're a healer, crit damage is good. Okay, crit damage is always good. Um, what was I gonna say? Actually, I have no idea what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I also re really like the monster design of her. Like I just think Victorias are awesome. Um, I don't know. I, I like the Evil 2 version of the, than the Evil 3 more. I think the Evil 3 and Evil 2 don't look like the same monster. I just think this cleavage is like, like this cleavage armor is just way too ridiculous. Like, in my opinion, or this is just my personal opinion, I think cleavage armor needs to be subtle. All right, it, need, it can't like, can't be like, boom, we're gonna shove this shit in your face. It has to be like, uh, we're we're gonna just leave this here and let's let's just hope. Everybody notices it, but nobody talks about it, okay? That's that's the way cleavage armor should work, but this is just too much, okay? This is too much. Um, okay, I just I just I just looked through her uh, her little dress slit over here uh, by accident. I, it wasn't by accident, it was just by instinct. I like happened to left her just happened to have left her in this particular angle. Um, hey, don't judge me. Alright, don't fucking judge me we're all fucking weebs here we play this we play this anime game with all these monsters these monsters all right and we're all fucking weebs okay don't don't fucking judge me um anyways god god damn it that was that was a nervous laugh okay that was that was a nervous laugh you know you know i'm insecure um anyways we're gonna we're gonna work on her because I think I can get her to Evil 3 pretty easily. Like, if I just work really hard for a week, all on fusion, I can definitely get like 15 copies of Victorious. It's not that hard. I can just... Like, these are easy to farm. These I can get like multiple copies in a day. Um, like, I could probably get... If I stay on the Beth map and farm for an entire day, I could probably get... Um, maybe 10 or so? Like 10 Beths? I think 10 beds equal 10 mermaids. No, I don't need that many mermaids. Wait, how many mermaids do I need? If I want to make 15 copies of her, I'll need at least 15 mermaids. Yes, that's that's right. So I'll need at least 15 beds. I need 15 of her, him and 15 of, him, of of this thing. So I need 15 of these, 15 of these. Yeah, if I stay for a whole day, I could probably farm 15 in a day um, on that map for a whole day, don't farm anything else. Definitely farm 15 a day. These are super easy to cash, like I can just basically farm them in like 20 minutes um, if I want 15 of them. And same thing with this. So I'll need 15 copies of each each of these. And I'll need, um, wait, how many mermaids do I need to make her evil two? I need three mermaids to make her evil two, to make the, if I fuse one and make an, make an evil one version of her, I need three mermaids to make her evil two. So I will need, um, I will need like 45 mermaids, 45 of him, which is going to take like maybe four or five days of farming nonstop. Um, so basically complete this in a day, complete this in, a, in another, another day, um, take three days for this and another three days for this. So basically eight days or so. Yeah, eight days, and I should be able to get her if I just work nonstop for eight days. Eight days. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna make her evil three. I'm gonna use her. Um, Cause I'm a fucking weep. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna move on. Uh, there's not there's not that many things I think like that I need to actually work on now because after the patch change, I don't think I'll be able to um, safely farm B8. So I'll pro probably farm B9. And actually, I'm not even farm B9. I'm just gonna work on her, and then maybe like you know when I'm lazy, I'll go farm B9. So maybe in two weeks, I'll I'll be able to get a Evil Three version of her. Um, Yeah, I think that's pretty much it in terms of progression for the game. I think there's, like, I, I want to um, just talk a little bit mo more about my channel as well. Like, I want to start making content for various games, like, something similar to this game as well. Uh, just at the, at the same time, like, this is still going to be the main thing I do. But if I start making content, like, um, I feel like I need to maybe combine some of the content together. Like, um... A lot of t when I first started, I would make like seven videos a day, and those videos would usually be pretty short or about random topics. I mainly did it because I wanted to like you know um, just have more videos out. Because if you like if you have more videos out, it's more likely for people to find your videos. Just how the how this thing works. So if I if I ever do start playing a game, like I probably will be like spamming content for that game um, quite hard, but. That's just for the sake of like filling up, um, filling up some of the empty space. You know, that's that's basically, basically my my YouTube strategy. I think I, I do a lot of things for fun. Like I play these games for fun, but it's kind of the main reason I I do YouTube because it's like, you know, if if you don't enjoy it, then what's the point? You can just go get a job. You probably make way more money. Um, <laughs> but I, I just, uh, you know, I just do it kind of as a hobby and. Um, I think it's definitely going to grow into something big in the future if I just put a lot of work and a lot of passion into it, which is what I'm doing right now. So I, I'm really glad that everything is starting to get on track again. So thank you guys again, um, all the new people who recently subscribed to my channel. I'm going to definitely be making more content for Monster Super League, but at the same time, I'm going to be making a lot of content for some other games as well. Um, a lot of things like before, like I used to do like a lot of summoning videos, and I know summoning videos get like a shit ton of views. I might still do it like when I do summon with the Astro Gems, like if I like decide to buy a pack or some shit like that I might do it um, but usually for my summons I like I, did, I was pretty happy to get all those really good summons yesterday and you know last time when I did like 20 something summons in a row it, I, I didn't really get anything good and it was a little bit devastating I think um, <laughs> like it just doesn't feel good all right but if I like summon only like five at a time every single day then it feels it feels uh it, it just feels better for me I think like even if I don't get anything good I'll just be like okay next time you know um so I think I might do summonings daily I think that's that might be a pretty good idea like while I'm doing my um my daily plans and goals video I'll summon whatever eggs I collected yesterday in those videos and then if I do make a summoning video it'll probably be like a straight out summoning video where I like actually bought a pack or some shit like that um yeah, and so that's that's pretty much it. And really looking forward to wh whatever I'm doing in the future. Um, and don't please 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 don't freak out. Like when I start spamming content for other games, it's all part of a strategy, all right? It's 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 to it's to grow the YouTube channel, all right? Like like you can just watch the Monster Super League stuff if you're not too interested. And if you're interested, then that's that's really good as well. Um, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Also, I gave up on the fire Leo. I just like I don't I don't think it's it's good. Like think about it like this. Okay, he has a passive that I, I just looked at him running around my island just now, and I thought of him. He has a passive that increases crit damage by fifty percent, and that's it. Um, I can just take some random dark monster, and boom, I have that passive. Okay, uh, <laughs> that that actually was a no brainer. Like. No wonder nobody raises him. I thought he would be like really good because it's like, okay, nice, straight out damage. But then, now that I think about it, I, I could just be like, hey, um, why don't I raise a dark monster instead? And I can do the exact same thing, you know? Why are why do light monsters... Oh, light monsters get 10% extra crit rate, while the dark monsters get crit damage. That crit damage is still way better. Like, think about it. 10% crit rate. 
I could probably achieve that with some substats. Is it that easy to get 50% crit damage from substats? Just think about that. Yeah, most people build crit rate with a gem anyways, so crit damage is like... It's not something you can really boost unless you put like a straight out crit damage gem, but then you need like pretty good attack substats to like boost up your base attack so you can at least do damage. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. Like, I need to end the video. That's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.